trim is a critical part of any project using sheet metal panels. It finishes out the project from an appearance standpoint and also provides critical flashing to prevent water from penetrating the interior of a structure. Metal Mart is fortunate to have modern shearing and folding equipment in our stores to produce high quality trim from flat sheets to our customer specifications quickly. Before the installation of this trim equipment, our stores relied on McElroy Metal manufacturing plants to supply us with all of our trim needs. As our company grew, the demand created by our locations exceeded the capacity of these plants. This led us to explore local supply options to fulfill our trim needs. These options included local trim vendors and later securing manual fabrication equipment in our stores. Neither of the options was ideal, which ultimately resulted in the trim equipment that is in place in our stores today. As with most fabrication equipment, when used improperly or in a careless manner, personal injury to the operator may result. Conversely, when proper care and precautions are taken by the operator, the equipment can be used safely and without incident. The purpose of this video is to thoroughly explain the process of converting flat sheets of metal into finished pieces of trim, to identify potential hazards associated with the raw materials, material handling, and equipment operation, and to educate the operator on how to prevent hazards from creating injuries. The flat metal sheets used to fabricate trim are much like the panels used to manufacture roofing and siding panels. The primary difference being that flats used for trim have a lower tensile strength that allows them to be bent without cracking the steel. The majority of the flats used in our stores are 26 gauge thickness, but other thicknesses are also available. Flat sheets are stored by color on or in racks located near the shearing equipment. Because the flat sheets are relatively thin, they may have sharp edges and or burrs around the perimeter of the material. This makes it critical to always wear PPE, including glasses, arm guards, and gloves when handling these flats. Once the proper flat sheet is selected, it should be placed on the deck of the shear. The back gauge should also be set to the required dimension of the trim blank and the flat then slid under the shear opening and against the back gauge stop. Care should be used to keep all body parts away from the shear blade and clamping bar. Once the flat is in place, the shear can be activated using either the foot pedal or button on the machine. Once the material is sheared, it will drop into the catch cart located under the shear. Once the trim blank is created, it is then moved to the folding machine. Once the machine is programmed, it can be bent into the desired shape. Much like the shear, the material is fed into the opening on the front of the folder and pushed against the backstop fingers on the floor of the bender. Once the flat blank is in place and all hands and body parts are outside the opening, the foot pedal is depressed once to begin the clamping process. The clamp will stop once until the foot pedal is depressed a second time, which will clamp the material to the folder floor. Once the material is clamped in place, the folding process begins. Another button is depressed on the foot pedal, which will activate the bending beam. The process is repeated until the final shape is completed. Once all of your desired pieces are completed for a specific order, like items should be stacked or nested together and secured using tape or shrink wrap. Care should be taken to keep the bundle size to an easily manageable weight and size. Once a trim order is completed and bundled, it should be moved to a predetermined staging area awaiting customer pickup. We're now going to demonstrate what will happen to your finger or hand if it gets caught in the bending machine. We will now go through the correct process of turning a flat sheet into a finished trim product using a short video.